and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Thresh Control. Gonna play um, an old deck, it's still a good deck. Well, we're gonna find out if it's still a good deck. A lot of people are saying that uh, this deck isn't so good right now. There's not nearly as much small aggro, so like your Withering Whales, Grass the Undying, Vile Feast, all that kind of cards aren't as good. Kind of the same with like Health Potion, Emerald Awakener. But we're gonna, um, you know, kind of play some old school Karma Thresh Control and give it a try ourselves. Let's see how it goes. I have updated it a little bit. I've added in some more top ends. As you can see, I got a second Commander Ledros in here and an Atrocity, so we can kind of use um, Karina Control's uh, game plan of winning. We can kind of use that combo for ourselves as well. Um, but yeah, you know, like this is uh, Spooky Karma. Uh, Karma, of course, now costs six, which is a bummer. The, the big thing about that is you can't ever have Karma and then have, like, a deny and a will of ionia i know like other this deck's not really about that but you know like have or have like two denies available even with it costing six even when you have 13 mana you'd only have like karma plus a deny plus something that costs three mana but anyway yeah let's uh give it a try this is this is a deck that a lot of people have been asking about though like you know people saying is it still good um you know that kind of stuff so here we go we got a a decent list i think Put this one together uh, before the stream and we will try it out now. So we're gonna go play five games over in ranked. We had a really good rank up day yesterday. We went from like 900 to 200 um, in 15 games, going 14 and one in our last 15. Today we're kind of playing some, some uh, question marks. That's what today's about. It's about a bunch of question marks. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try Teemo Burn, a deck that, you know, burned a deck that got hit really hard by the patch. Same with Karina Control, also got hit really hard by the patch. So we're trying out those two decks as um, decks that people are kind of asking about. I don't think we really need Vile Feast and against those two. And, uh, and so we'll see how those two decks do, and then and then we're gonna go back and play play some jank. We're gonna be trying Unyielding Spirit Powder Keg in our Pirate Lux deck later on. Alright, Shadow Assassin time. Nothing left when I'm done. They cannot hide. The two damage that we get is not super valuable. We'll just take that thing out out of the equation. I'll buy us some time. It's too late for you. My path is Usually I want to wait on this card, but I just have nothing else to do. I don't know, maybe I should still just be waiting on the card. I obviously don't want them to level up Gangplank, so want to make sure to get that block in. Alright, so I have a plan. So I'm gonna play the Thresh, and then they pass turn. Because they don't want to play something that I challenge with Thresh. Nope, never mind. Flames, nor the depths could claim me. Never mind. <laughs> um This is my cause. Gangplank does have Overwhelm, unfortunately.
really considering blocking with Thrush. No. Blocking with Threshes would make it a lot easier to kill the Gangplank with Withering Whales and Vile Feast that I have. And plus, of course, Dead Champions are really not a big deal whenever we have uh, Rekindler. It's like that. Like, that's perfectly fine. some really great cards they can get from me. cards than I do. Thresh is at four out of six. I'll show him pain. This is four. Find enlightenment. Four out of five for Gangplank. So they stole my second ruination. I was thinking that you know they only had eight mana, so they, even if they stole a ruination, they couldn't cast it. But of course, Black Market Merchant changes that. So that wasn't the case. No, a champion had died. No, you, you need Rekindler does need a champion to die to put something in play, and, and I did have a Karma die earlier. I played a Karma, and they grasped the Undying it. One candle. Your king has returned.
could play... I'm going to go with the Ruination, but I could have gone Karma, level up, and then have Double Grasp on the game playing. And um, Vile Feast on the Powder Keg. I walk my path alone. Stop taking all of my cards. Swift and silent as the breeze. No suffering, so we may end it. Fast as wind, light as air. Just took all of my good cards. As fate wills. Well, I can go for the win with Ledros. You know, Ledros, hope we un hope they don't have two damage and burn spells, untap, and then atrocity. It's probably my best play. Other play is Karma plus Grasp the Undying. I'm playing too many good cards. They stole five of them. good cards. That 8 mana ruination was probably the most important thing about that game. That was that was huge. I'm having that. And then of course, yeah, like those those three drops costing 2 mana, so they got to play uh, two of those. Like that was that was amazing. Yeah, just Too much good stuff. All right, let's see. Sejuani, Twisted Fate. Man, we're gonna get all of our cards stolen again. We're probably not a good deck against Bilgewater of having our stuff stolen, are we? Because we have really powerful cards that are not champions that uh, people can steal. It's probably not good for that matchup. Good chance I should keep Vengeance because of how powerful Sejuani is. Maybe I should just keep Vengeance. Um, I'm going to see if this does anything. Yeah, so, uh, kind of does something. Basically, control. So if I play this, I have three and nothing. This. Okay. Basically, control decks. The like control is the type of deck. So a, a control deck is a deck that is trying to um, slow down the opponent and get to a slow down the opponent and play a longer game and uh, it's hard to use it's hard to describe control deck without using the word control you know but I guess you know it's you know trying to control the the board and, and basically run the opponent out of resources Yeah, you want to, yep, you want to 
try to stay alive and you know like you're usually behind early try to stay alive get to the point of the game where the the board's in a favorable state and then yeah then play bigger win decisions in the late game Yeah, get rid of those cards. I don't want to see those cards. Uh. So you either go Karma or go Shadow Assassin and then Mist Call bring back another Shadow Assassin. Start generating spells with Karma. Bilgewater decks are really good against control with all these steel cards, especially my kind of control. Game doesn't look particularly close. I think with the the different speeds of spells, how you said that burst speed spells are unnecessary because there's only one card that counters them. I think it's about priority. It's about you own what you it's not about we own all we see. having burst speed that can't be countered. I mean, obviously that's a thing. There's there is one counter spell, but it's also just about priority. It's about being able to um, like that that like that's that's the. Kind of the thought behind behind it. Hmm. Tusk Raider, uh, double the power and health of all the allies in their deck. So Sejuani is now a ten twelve. Stand and fight! We know the value of coin. Oh, vermin! None can compare!
Sorry, Yanni. I do wish I would have just kept that vengeance as we talked about in the opener. Didn't find another one or anything kind of like it. You know, really don't need these denies or anything like that. I, I should have just kept. Um, Should have kept vengeance in my opener. So I can glimpse beyond and then miss call to draw two. That would leave. That would just basically spend one mana. But it's, it's a little risky because if they have like something else, you know, anything else kind of breaks it up or kill my karma afterwards or anything like that. It's kind of risky. All right, well, leveled up Karma is really good. Is it good enough to hold this off? Not so sure. Ride onward. So I have 13 mana, so let's see, that'd be six, 11, Basically, I gotta hope that they have nothing. Act with conviction. Hoping then hoping they have nothing. These warning shots have just been amazing. They've been really, really good. Fourteen and taking thirteen going to one. If I do this, I go to one. Keep it alive. Go to one. Well, yeah, if I would have done, they would have had the third. 
That was their third warning shot, right? Without playing a Yordle Grifter, they just naturally had three warning shots. Wasn't something I was especially prepared for. Could have done the plus to do to gain just a little bit more life. We have learned as much as we have suffered. Yeah, these Bilgewater decks are just pretty tough matchups. So i show them, like, they, like, that was, like, if you look at what they had every single turn, it was just super ideal. You know, turn one Omen Hog, turn two to Starlet Seer, and it just kept on going. You know, like, they used turn four, they had the Wolf Rider ramp. Their hand was just perfect. But... With this kind of deck, you really need your opponent to stumble just a little bit. It's, it's hard to beat perfect hands. Um, I kind of like this. Callista Elise. Get rid of Karma. Go with the 4-3 and then just have Miss Call back up, and maybe that's the better play. The problem with that play, the thing that I'm worried about. Oh, right, that thing turns into a 3-3. The thing that I'm worried about with that play is um, them just like playing some more spiders, leveling up Elise. I'm worried about that. Let none disturb my meditation. Dang. Got a lot of champions, do we? Can I have them not level up Callista? How can I get rid of this Callista before it levels up? Hmm. Need to switch these two draws. Need to draw Ledros for or uh, Thresh first. All right, so they were willing to pass with all that mana, you know, expecting me to attack, and then they would probably want to play something after combat. I'm just going to, like, honestly, our deck, the six damage isn't, isn't as valuable as them not developing their board for an entire turn uh, like that. I think that's pretty valuable. All right, so basically it is impossible 
for me to keep them from leveling up. Callista, I guess not quite. Let's see, do I have nine mana? I do have nine, so I can go feast, feast, Callista, then Withering Whale. Seems like a lot, but... I could just make these blocks. Go down to four. Should have done this while I cast the Withering Whale. Now, the champions are basically always like the main focus first. Yeah, it's focused on the Callista, not the Bark Beast. Um, but yeah, you, you can cast fast spells during combat. You do have that ability. And yeah, they'll resolve before the combat damage. But... <clears throat> um... You can see the Nebastian border from here. Yes, you. But I didn't play my fast spell during combat because it would have leveled... Because then we would have killed a bunch of their things with Callista in play and would have leveled up Callista. And I did not want them to have a leveled up Callista. Hopefully they're out of champions. We have gotten rid of two Callistas and two Elise. So now it's they who endure. They so now we can kind of shift up, you know, with that is basically they who endure is the only card that's gonna kill us. Basically the only thing we have to worry about. Um I'll pass. So they do have a they they who endure may need to ruination it. Alright, so they can't have one now, it costs six mana. I don't know, I should let them attack first before doing this, probably. So we're gonna level up Thrash. Yeah. I could play Karma, which would be really nice, but I want to keep them from drawing two cards. It's basically, the only way we lose this game is if they find they who endure, especially they who endure plus atrocity. That's the only way I can lose this game at this point. So keeping them from drawing two cards is going to be more valuable than getting our champion in play. a bad play, isn't it? Yeah, because I could lose if they just go they who endure and then atrocity. Yeah, that's just a bad play by me. I was thinking, like, kill them right now. <laughs> They're just gonna have it, aren't they? That was just a bad play. Please, please just don't have that two-card combo. Just don't have it. Just we'll bring peace to Ionia. let me have one thing one time. Ugh. Can 
never have anything. We have learned as much as we have suffered. Like they already had, you know, one drop Elise, Callista, one drop Elise. Like, you know, like they already had that curve. Like, do they have to have that too? But I mean, I could have played, you know, I could have just kept playing around and kept playing safe. I knew that was the better play. I just had the exact, the exact amount of mana, 12 mana needed. Uh. No, you don't, you don't, you don't. No, Thresh puts in Karma every single time. That's that's who Thresh puts in Karma. But no, I would have I would have Vengeance to be able to respond to Atrocity. I mean, I guess you're saying like they would just go to combat and attack. You know, like they would go to combat the next turn and attack me, and then I would have to Vengeance, and then they could do Atrocity in response. Um. I don't want to do this. I want to have six mana for Monk Call. But War Chefs can kill that. I also hate picking up Spiderling. Swift and silent as the breeze. Head to the base. There's no way that's a good attack. Right? There's no way that's a good attack. My last opponent that was just playing Elise Callista, that's just a really common deck that's been a common deck for months. Is that they who endure deck? I don't think... I don't think that was just like a Mogwai deck. Like that's just been a common deck for, for months. Who does not know the name Laurent? We played it, I mean, I think we played it last Sunday or Monday. We played that same deck, that Endure Spiders, also. Sometimes, sometime recently, sometime in the last week. Maybe last Saturday, something like that. Yeah, our closes were. Um, hey, Grace Call. Yeah, our, our our losses were close. Our opponents have have had it all. They've had perfect hands every game. But first two were just a, a couple bilge water decks that stole the, the best, you know, stole the good stuff from me, and you know had it all. And then that one should have won that last game.
yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're playing we're playing decks besides the last one, the first three. We're playing decks that have been popular in the past and keep and people ask about a lot, and giving them a try. You know, playing Burn, playing Karina Control, playing the this Karma Thrash. I have to say, I know, I know, I'm 0 and 3, but I have to say that I'm actually pleasantly surprised about how good this deck is. It's been playing a lot better than I thought it would. I think it's, it's been a bunch of ridiculous circumstances of why we've been losing the games. Um, like low percentage things happening, but I've actually been, I've been really uh, pleasantly surprised about how good it's been. wish I had one more mana and would just be able to ruination this turn. That would make my life very easy. But it's never easy. Never easy for me. It's easy for them. I don't have any good options. So I have 11 mana. I do not get to protect my ruination with a, de with a deny if they have a deny. I'm still at 17. Their their deck hasn't really hit me very hard at all, so I'm, I'm not in real risk of dying. You cannot escape. Just if that got denied, we're going to be in trouble. The, it's the best card hit off her remembrance. It 
must be done. These woods protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. Damage cross. I walk my path alone. So they didn't play, you know, so they're, they're keeping two cards in hand they're not playing whatsoever. The most likely reason for that would be that they are barrier cards. Slash pump spells. Some combat tricks. If you will. These woods protect their own. Fast as wind, light as air. It's the most likely reason. Or they just killed me. Because, yeah, that only costs one mana, and you can play both of these in, in one turn. We just never, like, we just can't have anything go right, can we? Like, yeah, cool. I only have just more units in play. I mean, I, I guess I could have played, you know, I didn't have to play Ledro, so I guess I could have played Shadow Assassin and Thresh. I guess. Hey, turkey. That was ridiculous. That's like three out of the four games that I thought that we were definitely winning and then we just lose. Just suddenly lose out of nowhere. Great. One time it's because they, st they stole my Ruination that cost 8 mana. The other time it's because two out of their last three cards were They Who Endure Atrocity. And now this time two of their last three cards were 9 drop, 1 drop perfectly to be able to attack for all that. Grass the Undying kills Misfortune. Who does not know the name Laurent? Looking for trouble? It found you. Fortune with Quinn. Schnapps. Thank you so much there, Schnapps. I appreciate that. No, I can't kill Misfortune here. 
It's either Grass the Undying War Chefs or Vengeance the Protege. Those are my two options of cards I can play. I can't kill Misfortune. Though killing Misfortune will leave me very far behind. Run them through. Pause them. I'm going to try to kill Misfortune with Thresh. But they'll probably have Bright Seal Protector. Or like a repost. Repost would be even worse. Wow. Didn't have a repost. Dangerous waters. Didn't have a worse card we could possibly see. Unfortunately, we don't have a Withering Whale. That would have been nice. Always Thanks, Manuel. Yeah, glad you're liking the, the YouTube comment. Thanks. Hey, Thorvald. Good draw. Vile Feast to take out a tracker. The wood can't fight back, but I can. Any last words? I mean, I guess it's technically better yes. to just take out tracker right now and then Vile Feast the 3 1. Keeps Thresh with that extra health. What? So that's game. Their pride will cost them. I have never seen opponents run so hot as these five games. Never seen people run these this hot. Um so as far as our deck goes, I, I was, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised with it. Um, I, I, it actually did perform better than I thought. Um, I think I think this is a, a pretty viable deck. It's not something you usually say after going 0-5, but I think that uh, a, this kind of deck, like this kind of con control deck, it's really difficult to beat the absolute best hands that people can, can play, and we played against five people that had the absolute best hands that they could have. And so we lose. I mean, that's just that's just how it is. But um, I think that a majority, like basically every single one of those games, we could run back, and I'd be confident that we would either win or have a decent shot. The Bilgewater matchup's kind of tough, depending on what they take from you. But um, yeah, I liked I liked how this list kind of felt. I liked like our our top end with getting a second Ledros in here and the Atrocity, um, and so on, and just like the removal. I liked our second Vengeance. Um, uh, yeah, the Solitary Monk looked good. Shadow Assassin did look a little weak. Um, Cause he playing a two drop instead of Emerald Awakener. Maybe you just don't need Emerald Awakener these days. Like maybe you just want a, a two drop, like a Claws of the Dragon, like something that's just a three two 
to play on turn two. I would rather have a 3-2. I don't want Eye of the Dragon. I don't want a 1-3 at all. I want a 3-2 as far as defense goes. So I could see making that change. Um, it kind of makes your Awakener makes just your late game even better. But our late game was... Our late game seemed just fine. Um, but. but anyway, there we go. So that's Karma Thresh Control. You know, we can't... Uh, I mean, that's about as positive as we can be after going 0-5. Um, but yeah, sometimes your opponents have it. And that's... Control decks... You know, you like you're relying on you know you you interact a lot with your opponent, and, and so you you know you rely on your stuff, uh, kind of matching up, and you hope that they stumble like at least one turn in a game. They don't just have a perfect turn every single turn, but you know that just wasn't happening. Uh, yeah, probably could replace, could definitely place replace one of the health potions. Um. Maybe both. I, I like Health Potion as a card. I think it's an underrated card. I, I like it as just a one-mana Twin Disciplines for Thrash. Um, and stuff like that, too. I like Twin Disciplines as a card. Or, sorry, Health Potion as a card. Um, but yeah, it's not always trading with stuff. So, one of them could definitely be replaced. But as far as all of the one and one and two mana cards, this this one's my favorite. I don't like Eye of the Dragon at all. Um, one You want a, a two drop that's going to trade with all the other two drops. And so that's like where Claws of the Dragon fits in. Um. <clears throat> I said only the last one was a bit of a mismatch as far as the matches. I mean... It's just because they had that they had that relentless pursuit. If they don't have relentless pursuit, like I I didn't think I was losing that. Still, I thought that we were in pretty pretty good control to uh, stabilize and take over. But the relentless pursuit was just ridiculous. Um, yeah, without without that, uh, yeah, like I was gonna be just fine because I was gonna kill you know, like one thing and then we we're gonna untap and we we're gonna have um, the vile feast plus more removal and stuff like for you know like the valve for the three one like we were going to be fine but oh well all right so we're going to try two other decks here that uh also maybe maybe aren't very good anymore we're going to kind of see we're going to play teemo burn and karina control i'm playing some some decks that definitely got hurt a lot from the patch and uh giving them a try because a lot of people ask questions about them but Hopefully this answers some people's thoughts for Karma Thresh Control. All right. Um, anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I will see you for the next video.